Welcome, scale. Yeah. You know, this is the second time I've ever used uh, sk slides, so forgive me. Um, last year, you guys are such a wonderful thing that I thought I'd get a little bit of more abuse and come today unprepared to talk about mentoring and all the problems that young people and people that make changes and, and the solution that I came up with. Um, the, last year, I talked about free education and a community-based type of a platform, um, which allows people to get free education and degrees, uh, World Mentoring Academy, and basically an open community, very much like SCALE and the Linux and Apache and PHP community. Basically, MOOCs started two years after I started, and we've built the platform out, and it's about 34,000, 35,000 users. The problem that a lot of people do is they get into the content and they don't know what they want to do, which I, I find kind of sad because things are changing so rapidly with big data automation and robotics that people get rather confused. They're in college, they're spending all their money, and they're spending five or six years, they still haven't declared a major. And I thought, well, how can I solve this big problem? And uh, I, I actually knew what I wanted to do when I was in college. I wanted to be a clown. So for 35 years as a clown, after I graduated in engineering, and I used to be four, four years of college, boy, my dad's mad, right? So that, you know, uh, uh, actually Kathy Davidson, who actually uh, wrote a nice little article about me in, in New York Times, she said that 65% uh, of today's jobs so will not even exist that when the elementary school kids get of age. And actually, that kind of reminds me, I'm from Alaska, we had gold, you know, dredges and stuff like that. So I thought, now, how can I solve this problem if the target keeps shifting around? And I noticed something about young people. You know, when they're younger, they know what they want to do. Like, I want to be a, you know, a doctor, an astronaut. And they get to middle school and their friends say, so what do you want to be? Oh, I want to be an astronaut. Oh, but you're not smart enough to mess. Besides that, you're a girl. So, then now how can I solve that? So I got my camera. Uh, I was a member of the Pasadena Media, and I took my camera, and I went out to Caltech. And I thought, well, maybe I should ask some people that might know something about being an astronaut. So I, uh, I was ready, and I, so I, I talked to three astronauts. I said, hey, what could elementary school kids get involved in for future space and technology? because I'm not an astronaut, I wouldn't know. He said, hydroponics and robotics. I go, wow, hydroponics and robotics. Hmm, these slides aren't shifting quick enough, but anyway, we'll wait. That's actually uh, a very nice guy. I was talking to him. I said, so what do you think the future is gonna need? They're gonna need miners? And he laughed at me. So I thought, well, he said hydroponics. So I went out to an aquaponics farm and filmed all the wonderful, fun things you can do in an aquaponics farm, you know, learning all the different types of things. And I was amazed to find that there's quite a few of them around where you can go in and you can volunteer, you can work on, you know, horticulture and learn all kinds of cool stuff. And I thought, you know, kids would really like to go to these kind of places. And a lot of times they're in, in underserved areas. Like this one in particular was in um, the projects in Long Beach. And so what I did is I went out and I started to build a database of all the community gardens, hydroponics, aquaponics, permacultures in the world. Everything about them, kid-friendly, hours of operation, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. So, so that young people can find, you know, they're watching YouTube video with the interview with the astronauts and the, the interview with all the various different fun stuff at the, and then they can go out, and they, at the end of the video they go, find a garden next to you. They click on a button, a map opens up, local M. Four blocks away in Toledo is a hydroponics that they can enjoy. Two years later, they get to middle school and their friends say, so what do you want to be? Oh, I want to be an astronaut. But you're not smart enough to be an astronaut. The young person can say, well, for the past two years, I'm working on a variety of tomatoes that's been considered for the Martian colony. I don't think you know what you're talking about. <laughs> right? Because when that flame gets blown out in middle school, the kids have no direction, no ambitions, no drive. The only reason they do well in school is because they're good teachers and parents. So I went out and interviewed a bunch of other people because, you know, I, I've, I've interviewed astronauts, I interviewed Senator Barbara Boxer, Tommy, you know, all different types of people. Say, where are these creative spaces that young people can go to to get support instead of being heckled at when they come up with the idea that they want to be a spokesperson or in fact, actually, a New York marathoner, Shaleen 
Lagan, who I interviewed in March, who won the New York Marathon. So if you'd like to participate with me, come join me. I appreciate it. Thank you very much.